AMC is already trading 78.45% off exchange. Do you see anything wrong with this Gary Gensler at the SEC Gov? So it definitely pains me to report that even this far into this play, even after all the DD and all the evidence has been uncovered, there's still this much off exchange or dark pool volume basically on the daily. And has anything happened? Has anyone looked into this yet? It doesn't seem like it. If this is the beginning of the MOAS, these recent bounces, remember this, someone out there has around 10 more or less shares. And they are just as much apes as someone with 2,000 plus shares. This ape is pretty gullible, so anytime I see candlesticks, I can start to get excited. We're going to see a lot of hype very soon here. We've seen it over the past week. All the mainstream media and all the apes have, have really been lighting up the internet over the past week or so. And most importantly, a lot of money could be at play here. So everyone take a deep breath, embrace yourselves for 2023 because it's about to get crazy. Everyone I know who owns AMC has bought over the last few weeks. Not one person has sold. Still here, AMC, AMC 500k. So although this ape is exaggerating, saying that not even one person has sold, obviously some people are selling AMC stock. But what this ape means is that the majority, if you look at the top buys, top sells, if you look at the on balance volume, if you look at all the data and all the chatter throughout the social media platforms, you know one thing's for certain. A lot more people are buying into AMC shares and a lot more people are holding on to their AMC shares than those who are selling their shares. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean that AMC is going to go to the moon just because more people are buying and holding versus selling? Well, not necessarily, but what it does prove is that the retail base, the strongest, largest base of retail investors on a single stock across the entire stock market is still holding together strong. Even when AMC has been driven down and short lettered attacked over the last few weeks like it has been. So that being said, what does the future hold? If and when there's another bullish catalyst or another reason for AMC to really turn the corner and start rocketing towards all time highs, the retail community of four or five million people are going to still be there holding onto their shares and buying more, which could create a massive, massive FOMO squeeze and of course could turn into a short squeeze.